What's up, you guys? December 27, 2021 still. So we have a little bit more snow tonight. We've only received about three inches of snow at my house. But it's only going to last for another couple more hours. So we're at right now. So it's, it's about to get a little bit heavier. So we're going to go out right now for the last time for the night. And it's going to end probably, as you see right there, at about 1 o'clock. 2 o'clock at the latest. So let's go. Let's go do this. And then we'll do the aftermath in the morning. What's up, everybody? December 27, 2021 again. It is 1020 p.m. So this is pretty much the last of the good snow that's going to be coming from this storm. So I thought we'd go out and catch the rest of it and do a little resort tour. So we're going to stop at both ski resorts and then drive through the village. The village is going to be gorgeous right now, you guys. It's going to be spectacular because it's going to be empty, just full of snow. So that's going to be cool. It says 35, but that's because I just started my car. I guarantee you it's not 35, and it says 1021. I guarantee you it's 1021. So we are on Moonridge Road. You know what? One of you guys had a great idea. If I could get some sort of maps attached to my uh, to the video, so you guys can see exactly where where I'm driving. But I figured that out a little bit with my phone here. I know this is going to seem weird, but here, let's just see if I can. How do I get rid of that? Hang on a second, guys. Okay. So this is where we're at. That little arrow. We are entering Moon Ridge. About to go to uh, Bear Mountain Ski Resort. And it's snowing pretty good still over here. But as I said on the radar, and I'm posting the radar footage right before this video, just so you guys can see that it's just about to end. And then obviously I will be up early to do an aftermath video, but I'm not doing the time lapse change. We're gonna keep that going through the next storm just so you guys can see what it's like for the storms to pile up as they do, it's it's truly incredible. So I'm very, very glad that my time lapse hasn't broken down yet, because usually I have issues with it and it's been good this season. I shouldn't have even said anything. Probably just jinxed myself. But yes, this is where we are right now. I don't know if you guys can see. It's that little arrow. want to thank you guys again for all the support and you guys are such loving people showing little old me so much love and respect like I'm I'm truly truly grateful for you guys beyond anything I can even put into words so thank you thank you for everything <laughs> my cynicism in humanity has severely dropped off. That's a damn good thing. Because for a while, I just thought most people just weren't nice people. And now I realize most people are nice people, but it's the mean people who choose to be mean. And you know what? You guys are teaching me how to get through that too. Because I get hurt feelings just like anybody else. I don't like people saying mean things. It hurts my feelings, you know? But people, but people will be people, and I just have to always focus on the 99% of you that are always so sweet. 99.9%, .9%, I should say. But yeah, so we are gonna go to Bear Mountain. We're making fresh tracks, you guys, by the way. The golf course is right to the right of us. Let's give you guys another look at this map real quick. You guys see where we're at? I hope you can see where we're at. But what I'd like to do is to incorporate that little view that I just showed you guys of the map on all these videos that are especially at nighttime. Just like a small corner of the video. I just don't know how to do that. 
thinking if I get a second camera and prop it up just to record this screen the whole time, then somehow I can do like a split screen. I, I have no idea, but it was a great idea someone had. And it was funny because he, he brought up the idea tonight and it was the first night that I've ever done this. Showed you guys this because I didn't realize that I could. So anyway, here's Bear Mountain. Wow, I love it when it's snowing like this because it feels like you're driving light speed. But we're going so slow. Gosh, I remember having to push food carts and stuff up that up that bridge right there in ice and snow and it really sucked. That was when I was working here as a cook. Believe it or not, I miss it. Look at how beautiful this place is. I love this place. I love this place. It's so beautiful. Bear Mountain Ski Resort. Next stop, Summit Vale. Oh, let's welcome to Bear Mountain, guys. Those guys who groom those hills have a lot of courage, I gotta tell you. Because those are very steep slopes. I know they have the right equipment, but still. All right. We are leaving Bear Mountain, heading over to Snow Summit on the back route. We're gonna take Switzerland Avenue to Snow Summit. And then from there, we are going into the village. I'm gonna turn off my brights, there's a car coming. That guy's being pulled on his snowboard behind that truck. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Guys, there's so many different ways you can have fun up here. Obviously, that's a little bit dangerous, but there's, there's no one on the road right now. So have your fun. Do you remember when it said 35 degrees just a minute ago? Now look at it. 28. I'm thinking by the time we're done, it'll be about 26 or 25. Wow, this, this part of Moon Ridge got a good amount of snow. It looks like by the tire tracks, maybe about three and a half inches or four inches more. So even though it seems like a lot of snow, guys, it's not that much snow. Tomorrow we're supposed to be about 25 degrees for high temperature and on and off snow all day, but it's not gonna be much snow at all, less than an inch throughout the whole day. It's the following day and a half or two that's gonna be epic. That's when everything's gonna transform around here. And a lot of you are already thinking, well, it looks pretty transformed, and it, it really is. It looks like a different town now, but it's gonna be way different in a couple days. I just love looking, okay, there's no one behind us, so I'm just gonna stop here for a second. I just love looking at the snow just just blowing like that through the lights. I guess we can't see it too well. I'm sorry guys. But we're going to turn here down Willow and go all the way down Willow and then go to Switzerland and take Switzerland through the Snow Summit parking lot. So this would be your shortest route from Bear to Summit. You know what would be great is if they combine both resorts because to the left of us there's plenty of mountain area where they can make some more ski runs and stuff like that and we could have like a huge mammoth size resort i think for our economy that would be incredible incredible look at we're making fresh tracks i love that not anymore but still we're going to still make, we're going to still make our own Remember the advice that I give you guys a lot too is you don't want to drive in other people's tire tracks. And the reason is, is because a lot of people do that and it, 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 it compresses the snow into a, a really hard ice. So you're, you're essentially driving on more ice. So that's why you kind of want to drive in your own snow, if that makes any sense. 
make your own snow. Like, uh, instead of me driving in these tire tracks, I'm just gonna be over a little bit like this and making my own tracks. Right now, following those tracks wouldn't be a big deal. But when there's heavy traffic, it is a big deal. This hill on Switzerland is going to be fun. I wonder if, if there's going to be any people sledding or trying to uh, snowboard down this little hill at this time. You never know. You never know. Seriously, it's just so pretty over here. I want to thank you guys again for being you and for helping me out so much. You guys have done so much for, for my sanity, for my emotional well-being, everything. You guys are helping a lot. And I am very, very, very grateful. And I'm glad that I'm able to do this for you guys and that you guys find that this is something worth helping me for. So thank you. I appreciate it a lot. I get so many comments about how... My videos helped people make their decisions and this and that. And you know, do you know how, feel, how good that feels? Like almost to a selfish point, it feels so good. Do you guys hear that loud noise? Those are the snow blowers, the snow machines up on Summit. Once we get to this hill right here and start, we're just gonna coast down it. You can hear it. You guys heard that, right? All right, guys, here we go. Be careful. This can be rough, bro. Can be rough, brother. Oh, yes, it's, it is a bit rough. Yes. Wow, it is a little bit deep over here. But we are, for the most part, making freshies, so. What do you expect? Apologize about the bumpiness. Yeah, it's so fun driving in these conditions. Slow down for this little river, or it, this becomes a river, even though it's a walking path, and it becomes a river, especially once the snow melts. Yeah, it becomes a very fast little river. Not the best design, not that I could do any better, but still, you don't want to be swimming down a walking path. <laughs> closer to summit there's summit so we're gonna turn in real quick oh, you can really hear those snow blowers going ticket get your tickets and stuff like that oh man that is just incredible you guys it's just so peaceful and so beautiful
I'd like to stay in one of them one time because it's right on the mountain. As long as most of those rooms have like big windows for their back view. So you can see the mountain. All right, we're exiting Snow Summit, you guys. See how quick we got from Bear to Summit? And we're gonna take the main streets, we're gonna take Big Bear Boulevard down to, uh, down to the village. And once again, thanks again for advice also, you guys, on dealing with some of the people who have nothing better to do than to leave mean comments and stuff like that. are going up and up for me in life because I'm trying and I have a bunch of people like you guys who love me and that's all I need to, th to think about whenever any of those nasty people leave nasty comments it's just jealous haters man that's what you guys have been telling me it's just haters and I need to just ignore it so Yeah, I don't even know why I feed into it. I always have though. Because I am pretty quick quick witted and I love to you know, if someone's gonna be a be mean, you know, I know two wrongs don't make a right, but I do the same thing right back to them. I know it's due unto others as you would have them do unto you. But sometimes I think that people never learn unless it's done to them. <laughs> you know? My mom used to tell me to kill them with kindness, always. Kill people, kill them with kindness. As a kid, when I was picked on, kill them with kindness. Never worked. Never worked on the bullies to be nice, to, to just be as nice as I can to them. But I, I understand her point and it makes sense. And that's the important part. So we are on Big Bear Boulevard, doing a whopping 29 miles per hour. an hour but that's okay because it's absolutely beautiful we do have two lanes here I, I hope you guys don't get mad because I'm not trying to like do anything wrong here just driving the road turn on the bright huh let's see is that another car up there yeah wow look at the Taco Bell parking lot a bunch of those cars got hammered in there. Look at my side, my, my side beer. <laughs> Look at how heavy it's snowing outside. All right, so, and seriously, I know it looks like I'm going really, really fast. I'm excited, guys. On the way back, we're going to stop at the post office. If you guys don't mind, I'll take you on that journey with me. <laughs> I can't remember if I stopped earlier today or not. I think I already did, but I can't remember. So since we're here, oh, oh, we missed the light. Oh, never mind, we didn't miss the light. Robin Hood Resort, you guys, I love that place. Before I moved here, that's where I would stay all the time. I didn't realize that most places up here have like jacuzzi bathtubs and stuff like that. But that was one of the biggest reasons why I like to stay there. And it was just, it was, it was, I don't know, it just felt like Big Bear. It felt like a mountain town, so it felt nice. The Robin Hood Resort. Pretty easy to remember the name. And that restaurant, Teddy Bears, I am going to be going there soon. This is the village. This 
such a beautiful place. There's people going into the bar. You want to be careful up here, you guys, drinking. I don't want you guys to get any DUIs. Remember, this town makes a lot of money off of stuff like that. But that's not that's not the point. I don't want any of you to, to crash and kill yourselves. Also, when I was in my alcoholic stages, one time in North Carolina, I was really drunk, and I was too so drunk that I, I, I guess I pulled over on the side of the road, and it was in the high 20s. And I guess I was calling my mom crying, telling her I don't know where I am, what's going on. I don't remember any of it. I just remember waking up at my brother's house in bed. Some random person picked me up off the side of the road and drove me all the way like 20 minutes to where my brother's house was and like put me in the house in the bed. I, 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 and I, I didn't remember any of it. But my mom was in the, the biggest panic ever because she's out here in California and there's nothing she can do. I'm drunker than a skunk not knowing what's going on on the side of the road in my rental car just not knowing what's going on so I had pulled over and I guess she was saying that I was crying saying it's so cold it's so cold and I don't think I'm gonna make it like oh my god like I can't believe I put my mom through that stuff you guys but now I can at least say I have eight and a half years without any alcohol but I can't believe I put that woman through that what a selfish punk I was. I love that lady so much. Alright, so that's it for the village. Now we're going to head to the post office. El Post. be fun if they like closed off all these roads just for one night just so you can drive around and drift and do stuff like that that'd be a lot of fun legally do that instead of me having to do that on some turns just for fun real quick to see if I, if I got any mail today. So here we go. Turning left here. Whoop, whoop. And I'll take you guys in with me so you guys can see. As I said, you guys are just coming along with me today and every day. All right, hang on. All right. Do -do -do -do. Alright. Obviously I don't wanna get to show everybody my code here. Not that anyone's gonna wanna come and take my mail. But still. I do have mail, and it looks like a bill. It is a bill from Southwest Gas. Southwest Gas Company. Hmm. Wonderful. Oh man, look at how beautiful this is. Just so peaceful. It really is just so peaceful. It sucks to see graffiti like that in a town like this. Look at this. Look at how nasty my car looks right now. Let's start it up real quick. Subaru. 
you know. Unfortunately, I, when I open the door, it stops the car. Just so if someone tries to steal the car while it's warming up, they can't. All right. We made it, guys. We got a bill. get out of here well I thought it would be 26 by the time we were done but it's still 28 it's not supposed to get any warmer than this tomorrow though throughout the whole day All right. Big Bear Boulevard again here we go this damn thing that keeps on shaking when I let go you'll be able to tell that thing so I'm holding it so it doesn't shake and I'm holding the camera and I'm driving with my damn knee I need how to drive but we're not going to keep on doing that I'm going to put this bill in between there and see if it'll shut that thing up hang on it out a little bit but it didn't really shut it up for the night because the storm's about to pass but then early in the morning I'll be up to do a, a aftermath video for this storm and then prepare for the next one. Peace out you guys. I love you guys a lot. <laughs>